Okay, so let's figure out how many degrees from 8 a.m. on a clock all the way till 3.30 p.m. on our nice little clock here. So imagine here in the center here, let's say is our hour hand or minute hand, doesn't make a difference. Uh, and it just kind of started here pointing at 8 a.m. and it kind of rotated around until it was pointing at 3.30 uh, p.m right there, how many degrees were displaced? Okay, so that is the question. That's the topic for this particular video. So obviously we're gonna learn something about degrees, but this is a nice basic kind of word prom or graphical prom that hopefully all of you at the middle school level and above can figure it out. So if you wanna kind of uh, play with this here for a second and put your answer into the comment section, I think that would be excellent. But uh, we're gonna get into exactly what we need to do here to solve this problem. And just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for a, a long time, uh, many decades. And I'm telling you right now, there's no such thing as a bad math student. So if you're struggling in math, failing in math, it doesn't have to be that way. So to be successful in math, it requires two things. One, you gotta be willing to do the work. So if you're not going to class, you're not taking good notes, you're not doing all the homework, well, you gotta start there, okay? You gotta work hard to be successful in math. But the second thing you, the, that you need is great math instruction. Super clear, understandable, and comprehensive. That's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, check out my Math Help program. I'm going to leave a link uh, to it in the description of this video. We'll help you out big time, I promise. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with the math section, something like the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, have great homeschool, middle and high school math courses that can help you out. And if this video helped you out in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out. So uh, let's go ahead and get going and figure this nice little lovely problem. Of course, we're dealing with circles and degrees. So we need to kind of know some basic things about circles. And the first thing you need to know is a circle has 360 degrees. Now, what does that mean? Let's just kind of go to the super, super basics here. So let's say right here in this, uh, in the middle of our circle is the center. Okay. So the way we measure uh, arcs or the distance around a circle is through degrees. So let's say this right here, I'm just kind of drawing it the best I can would be one degree, and then, uh, of course, one degree would actually be looking a little smaller, and then as we continue on, these are more degrees, and then right here, uh, if the whole circle is 360 degrees, let's go ahead and actually uh, do something a little bit better here. I'm trying to, my best to explain this. So if the entire circle is 360 degrees, if we go halfway around the circle, well, then how many degrees would that be? Well, it's just gonna be half of 360, that'd be 180 degrees. If I go a quarter away around the circle, starting from the top right here, that's 90 degrees. If I go three quarters around, uh, let me just write that a little bit better, three quarters around a circle, that's gonna be 270 degrees. And then if I make a complete rotation uh, around a circle, that's 360 degrees. So how we measure uh, angles in a circle uh, is commonly, uh, you know, the most common way we use is degrees, but there is another way, uh, it's called radians, and that's for another subject, and this is actually uh, probably used just as much, if not even more, in more ad uh, advanced mathematics. So uh, uh, that's a whole different topic, and you're like, radians, what's that? Well, you're definitely going to learn that, especially for those you're gonna be going off to um, study trigonometry, et cetera, et cetera. But this is another way to measure angles within a circle. But uh, we're gonna be using degrees. So if you didn't know what that, um, what a degree is, that's what a degree is. Okay, so now uh, we're kind of thinking to ourselves, okay, that's one degree, but what we have here is like a clock, okay? So we're dealing with the clock, so this would be like one, two, this is three, all right, uh, a.m. or p.m. Uh, right here would be four, five, six, seven, eight, there's nine, 10, 11, then we kind of end right here at 12. So what we're gonna have to figure out is how many degrees are per each hour, okay? And we're also gonna have to figure out 
how much time, how many hours or minutes were displaced from eight all the way over to three, but we're looking uh, for 330, okay? So if we can figure out how many hour, um, how many degrees in each hour, we can kind of figure this out. So if you want to um, mess around with this, there's not any one super specific uh, approach uh, to reason through this problem. So use your common sense and uh, see if you can answer this. And uh, if you want to go and pause the video and use a calculator, that's perfectly fine as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. All right, so what we want to do, okay, and uh, the way I'm going to go ahead and reason through this is just figure out how many degrees is in uh, uh, one hour, okay? Well, how many hours are in a full rotation of a circle. Well, there's 12 hours, right, going around. Now, there's 24 hours in a day, but there's it takes us 12 hours to go all the way around a complete rotation in a circle. So we'll take that 360 degrees and divide by 12. So that's 30 degrees per hour. Okay, so this is our little conversion factor. 30, degree, 30 degrees per one hour. Let's see if this makes sense. Okay, I know that this right here is 90 degrees. Okay, one quarter of a circle. So if this is 30, okay, so this is one hour, here's another hour, that's 30, so that gives me 60, and then here's another hour, so that's going to give me another th uh, 30, so 30 degrees, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, is that 90 degrees? It looks like it. that's 90 degrees to me, so this looks like this conversion factor uh, makes sense, or this kind of like equivalency, right? So 30 degrees for one hour. Okay, so uh, if you got that right, that's excellent. But now we need to figure out, well, we're starting from eight. We're going, we wanna go to 330. Uh, so maybe if we can just count up these hours right here. Okay, we're gonna count up all the way to three. And then how do we get to 330? Well, if there's 30 degrees in one hour, uh, you can kind of just figure out what's one half of one hour. How many degrees is that? Uh, you, you know, hopefully those of you out there with your thinking cap on, which should be all of you, you can kind of reason through this and give me the final answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer the thing right now, answer this nice little lovely problem. So first of all, let's figure out how many hours uh, are displaced, okay, from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. So we got one, okay, let's count them up, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, okay, seven hours gets us to three, uh, uh, from eight to three. It could be a.m., well, th a.m., 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then we have a half hour right there, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right? So that's going to be seven full hours and then a half hour. So 7.5 hours gets us to, from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. All right, so now we know, again, um, uh, there's in for every hour there's 30 degrees. We're going to displace seven hours and a, then one half hour. Okay, so if one hour is 30 degrees, one half of an hour would be what? Well, it would be one half of this 30 degrees. So that's 15 degrees. So let's go ahead and now just tabulate all this up. Let me go ahead and give myself some room here. All right, so we have seven hours. So let's just get the hours first. So seven times 30 degrees. Okay, that's how many degrees are going to be in total for these seven hours because there's 30 degrees per hour. So uh, 30 times 7 is 210 degrees. Plus, uh, that gets us from here all the way to 3, and then we have to go that additional 15 degrees for that half hour. So I'll add uh, tack that on right there. So that'll be 210 plus 15 is 225 degrees in seven and a half hours, which would be from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. All right, how did you do? Did you get this right? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and fix up this circle into a nice little lovely happy face, give you an A+, plus, give you 120%, and I'll give you a few stars here as well for being so awesome at uh, geometry and degrees and all that kind of good stuff. Now, again, this problem, there isn't any one uh, specific way to uh, solve it, okay? As long as you get the right answer, that's what counts. So don't think that uh, the way you reason through a problem has to be exactly the way I do it, okay, or the way another student does it. As long as it's, you know, grounded in, uh, you know, mathematical reality, you know, that you're using facts and you kind of can express the way you did it, 
on paper, if this was a problem that you needed to turn it to your teacher, that's what counts, okay? So uh, the bottom line is this, if you did this a different way and still got the right answer, that is excellent. Okay, so if this video helped you out in some small way, please consider liking it and uh, subscribing to my channel. If you need help in any math topic, whether that's basic math all the way up to pre-calculus level, again, check out my math help program or all my videos on my YouTube channel. I cover a wide range of topics. Okay, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.